and welcome to tip number one of my five stress busting tips in five days. We're doing this to celebrate Stress Awareness Month. And if you don't know what that is and why you need to know about it, make sure to check out my previous video link down below. Who am I? I'm a consultant recovering from burnout. And on this channel, I share my burnout busting tips and productivity hacks to beat the burnout once and for all. Tip number one, we're going to be talking about stress versus stressors and what the difference is and how knowing about these can help you sustainably manage your day to day stress. Let's get cracking. Put simply, stressors are events that cause your body stress, but stress is your body's innate reaction to those events. Why is this important? Well, not all stress was created equally. Take a look at this picture. Here you'll see a continuum of stress. You see, the aim isn't to avoid all stress. We actually need a certain amount of stress to get us out of bed in the morning and to get us to do anything. And there is an optimal amount of stress, which is gonna be different for everybody. And we call this the eustress. This is the ideal place to be. But if it goes on too long, you can fall into de-stress. And distress is the bad stress. This is what we want to avoid. Everyone's unique. Different people will have different stress responses to the same stressor or different stressors creating different stress responses. And this is why it's important that you have awareness of where you fall on this spectrum and what stressors cause you to have what amount of stress. Let's take a good example, deadlines. For me, I'm someone who needs a lot of work with tight deadlines to get to that you stress. I love it, but not everyone is like that. So if you know your stressors, and where they result in you falling on that spectrum, then you'll know how much work you can take on in a way that's going to be sustainable for you. When should you say no? When you are tipping beyond the point of you stress. But you also need to recognise that it's not the same for everyone. So, for example, I know that there might be people in my team for whom tight deadlines it actually pushes them straight into distress. So for them, I need to make sure that I am arranging the work fairly across the team to make sure that everyone is at their right level of eustress at any one time. Same goes for you. You don't have to be a team manager to create this. You need to work out for you personally, what are your stressors and where do they put you on the stress spectrum? Only when you understand that can you really effectively manage your stress every single day? So now you're empowered to know the difference between stress and stressors. Not all stress was created equally. Know which stressors put you where on the stress spectrum. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe and join me tomorrow for episode two, where we're going to be talking about exercise and stress. See you there.